I'm Emil, the practical engineer. Today I'm a guest at my dad's workshop and we're making this beer pouring machine. To get a feeling for the process of pouring the beer automatically with the two arms, we made two prototypes. This is the first one, it's really a quick and dirty proof of concept. And then we made a bit more elaborate second version. We're gonna use a couple of parts from the Model 2, such as the axle we use and the crank part from the bicycle. So we need to take this apart to build a new one. Cut all the wood for the arms. Next, what we need to do is we may need to make these holes and we're gonna make a nice radius to it. I start by drilling a center hole in the piece so I can align the work on the router table when I'm cutting the radius. So we have the base here from the old prototype and we made new arms, we refined them and it's now time to assemble. The arms are mounted, I have the arm here for the glass and the arm here for the beer and the large arm that will move everything. Next up we need to mount the beer holder and the glass holder. We made all the arms with two plates on the hinge which gives the uh, arm two points of contact which improves the stability quite a bit. So hopefully it will be stable enough to open the beer and to pour the beer. Now we have the base done, we can move on with the bottle holder and with the glass holder. These are the same as we used in the last prototype, we just refined them a bit, sanded the edges, made them look nice. We made these holes very big, that allows us to adjust the holders a bit for the perfect pouring angle when they're mounted. So they're mounted but it's very rough. We still have to look for the right angle. So we have to put the bottle in and the glass and we can see how it all works out. So I have this block mounted and now when the glass moves up it hits the stopper and then the bottle comes until it also hits the stopper. This way you can adjust the distance between the glass and the bottle and then when they're like this they can move down together to pour the beer. This is the automatic opener. It's the same one as we used in the prototype. I'll demonstrate it in a bit. So it's mounted and it works quite easy actually. When the glass moves up, 
the bottle opener moves down towards the bottle. It grips it and then it opens it. We're gonna drive the mechanism with this crank from an old bicycle and then we're gonna use these rollers on the arms to move them when we move the crankshaft. So right now when they're both in the upright position, to make it pour the beer I have to hold it here with my thumb and push it and I want to automate that. I'm thinking of making a lever that goes here that when you move the crank over here it locks in this position and you can move it with the crank. Also when you're in this position I want it to move back easily like this. So I'm gonna make a spring mechanism with some rope that pulls the central beam back when the beer is poured. So we assembled the ledge here in the back and we assembled the spring mechanism over here. So let's give it a try. Cheers! So if you like this video, you probably like these videos as well. But before you leave, hit that subscribe button below and don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. See you next week.